This lesson is on writing an equation given the slope and one point. Suppose I want to write the equation of the line with slope of negative two-thirds and containing the point negative six, three. Our slope-intercept form of a line tells us that y is equal to the slope times x plus our y-intercept. So our equation demands that we know the slope and the y-intercept before we write our equation. Now, as far as the slope, we were given the slope, so we know that slope is equal to negative two-thirds. But we weren't given our y-intercept b, so we're going to solve for b by using our slope and the one point and plugging into y equals mx plus b. Because we were given a point, we were given an x value and a y value. So substituting those into our equation, y can be replaced by 3. Our slope m can be replaced by negative 2 thirds. Our x can be replaced by negative 6. So that leaves us with b, and we can solve for that. Order of operations tells us to multiply first. So negative 2 thirds times negative 6 is a positive 4. So to get b by itself, we'll undo the add 4 by subtracting 4, and that gives us that b is equal to negative 1. So to finish up the problem, we're ready to write our equation. y is equal to our slope m, which is negative 2 thirds for this line, times x, plus our y-intercept. Now we can write add negative 1, or we can simply write subtract 1. So the equation of the line with slope of negative 2 thirds and containing the ordered pair negative 6, 3 is y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 1. This lesson is on writing an equation of a line given two points. Suppose I want to write the equation of the line that contains the two points negative 4, 5, and 10, 12. Our slope-intercept form of a line tells us that y is equal to slope m times x plus y-intercept b. So the form itself tells us that we can't write our equation until we know the slope and the y-intercept. Now we aren't given the slope, but we're given two points. So we can find the slope by using the slope formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So labeling our points, negative 4 is our first x or x sub 1, 5 is our first y or y sub 1, 10 is our second x or x sub 2, and 12 is our second y or y sub 2. So substituting into the formula, we'll replace y sub 2 with 12, and we'll replace y sub 1 with 5. x sub 2 is 10, and x sub 1 is negative 4. So our numerator simplifies to be 7. Our denominator simplifies to be 14. So our slope simplifies to be 1 half. Now that we know slope, it's time to find y-intercept b. Again, it's not given to us, so what we can do is find it by using our slope and one of the points. It doesn't matter which point you pick, but I'll pick the ordered pair 10, 12. So we're going to plug into y equals mx plus b. So the y that I selected was 12. Our slope m, we got to be 1 half. The x that I selected was 10, and now we get to solve for b. So order of operations tells me to multiply first. 1 half times 10 is 5, and then we'll undo the adding of 5 by subtracting 5 from both sides. That gives us that b is equal to 7. So now that we know our slope and our y-intercept, we're ready to come back up and plug into our equation. So y is equal to m, our slope is 1 half, times x plus our y-intercept, our y-intercept is 7. 
The equation of the line containing these two points is y equals one-half x plus seven. 